At Ollie as solicitors, we deal with a lot of indecent images cases. Now, as part of these investigations, the police don't only look at indecent photographs, but they're also searching for prohibited images. Now, those are something that's less well known to the public um, as something that can amount to a criminal offence. So we're often asked, what exactly is a prohibited image? Now, a prohibited image is something that is not a photograph or a pseudo photograph, so say, for example, when two images from a photograph are put together. They have to be something which depicts a person, so for example, a cartoon or a sketch. Now, for it to be a prohibited image, it has to be something that's pornographic, and also it has to be something that's seen to be grossly offensive, disgusting, or otherwise of an obscene character. So for an image to be a prohibited image and therefore an offence, it has to be of a child engaging in sexual activity or focusing on a child's private area, or it has to be involving sex with an animal. It can also be a case where a child is present during a sexual act, but again, for a prohibited image, it's all to do with false images, cartoons, sketches, depictions. Now, one, one of the most common types of prohibited images tend to be things that come in the form of cartoons. So say, for example, manga is something that we come across very often, and um, people very frequently don't realise it's an offence to have material of this nature. Now, one of the points that the legislation makes in relation to prohibited images is it has to be solely or principally for the purpose of sexual arousal. So quite frequently you may get a case where a meme has been put forward, so it's slightly inappropriate, but it's certainly the intention behind it is for it to be a joke rather than to be something to arouse somebody. That, in essence, cannot be a prohibited image. Now, in terms of this offence, there are defences for having um, possession of a prohibited image. Of course, the legislation has to be satisfied, so the police, the CPS and the courts need to accept that the prohibited images do satisfy the definition, as we've previously gone through. There's also defences in terms of when someone has them for a legitimate purpose. So you may have an example where someone is doing academic research and um, for various think tanks, and that may well justify them having possession of such images. In other cases, someone may not be aware that they have such an image on their computer and may have never viewed it and never had any reason to suspect it was there. And again, that will be in a defence to this offence. Finally, there is a defence of it being an unsolicited image. So if you're having a conversation with someone online and without requesting anything, they send you an image that is a prohibited image and therefore illegal. As long as you can prove that you never requested it, you delete it within a reasonable period of time uh, and certainly don't continue conversations with that person knowing that such images could be forthcoming in the future, you may well still have a defence to this. It's very important that if the police are looking at you for prohibited images that you do get excellent representation from the outset. People don't always realise that it can be an offence, but these offences are either way offences. This means they can be dealt with in the Magistrates Court or in the Crown Court and they carry a maximum sentence of three years. So this is a matter that you can go to prison for if you don't take the appropriate action and get appropriate advice from the outset.